crypto mining wastes energy. Wrong. The biggest misconception in crypto is that proof of work wastes energy. Miners harness vast computing power to secure a proof of work network. All Bitcoin miners combined use massive energy, by some estimates as much as the country of Chile, which has led to chain, uh, charges of energy waste. Something wastes energy only to those who think it's of no proper function. The Bitcoin network secures $1 trillion in value and serves millions of people, including many without access to traditional payment networks. So that money can't be controlled, we need a real decentralized and secure network. And this will of course use a ton of energy, which is actually not bad at all. Your toaster, your microwave, your car, your freezer, everything is using energy. Here an example. The energy need from TVs in the US on standby is almost double the Bitcoin consumption. With that, you could provide Switzerland with energy for nine entire years. See, this is something that really is wasting energy. There's a difference between using and wasting energy. Again, something wastes energy only to those who think it serves no proper function. The beautiful thing is that you can create electric energy all around the world and also sell it location independent. And with the internet, everyone can take part, no permissions needed. The high energy consumption from Bitcoin is actually good and is protecting against um, powers and people who want to take over Bitcoin. So if you want to take over Bitcoin, you would need to do a 51% attack, which means 51% of mining power, which is pretty difficult, I would guess. With proof of stake, the amount of tokens you hold dictates the power you have and somebody is leading and has some sort of control over the project. So it just isn't decentralized. It's centralized systems and organizations playing as decentralized because of crypto. But 99% of all crypto media on every platform is not providing us with real data and real information. They are just there where the money is. So we basically got fed misinformation as with most or any other big thing that gains popularity. There are always people who try to control it. And this is why we have the crypto media as it is on all the different platforms. People really ignore the biggest and first red flag and jump through projects and do blockchain hopping without even considering the core principle of blockchain, which is pretty sad, but that's just how it is right now. And I do always say, go through different blockchains, learn and try to understand how it works, but don't be afraid to unlearn and relearn. 99% of projects won't last as well as 99% of blockchains and also 99% of people in crypto are uh, jumping through projects and looking for the next 1000x meme coin for airdrops and bounties for NFTs and false promises and all that different shit and nobody's feeling safe in crypto. But I can tell you things will change and if you still don't know the Bitcoin principle it is don't trust verify. Let that sink in. Bitcoin miners, so-called ASICs, are actually just really high efficient computers which are built for one specific reason and this is validating transactions. And they do it through solving really hard questions where there's always one answer to one question but I will link you some links below so you can learn more about mining. Another false statement is also that Bitcoiners or Bitcoin miners are using dirty energy. I think around 50% or more is coming from renewable energy resources like wind, hydro, solar and many other things that are being experimented with. Many people also like to say Bitcoin is old, you can't do anything with Bitcoin, you can't buy anything with, with Bitcoin. So let's quickly have a look at this. First, I want to ask you how many apps and wallets and different types of stuff uh, you have on your phone, on your computer that have to do with crypto. Um, I know I have a lot and I bet many of you too. That's what I mean with hopping around with different blockchains but not realizing what the real blockchain principle is about. So for anyone that has a bunch of apps but not a Bitcoin wallet on their phone, now is your time. Go to the App Store, go to the Play Store and just download yourself a wallet and get yourself some Bitcoin on it, do some transactions, send some, receive some and just check out how fast Bitcoin actually is. Now you can also buy stuff with Bitcoin just like the 21 magazine, this one is in German, just came out. There's also more stuff like the Bitcoin beach, if you didn't know, this also exists. Also hotels like the Hotel Princess in Plochingen, there's also a Satoshi bar, you can go up over there and pay your stuff with Bitcoin. This one is keeping this 40 room hotel warm during the winter 
with Bitcoin mining. And there are a lot of Bitcoin eating solutions coming out and a lot of this is gonna grow. Just like the one from 21 Energy, which also just came out. I will put you the video in uh, the video link in the description so you can have a look at that. So congrats to the team from 21 Energy. I really, really love your beat, uh, Bitcoin heating system. So guys, all of this is out of your mind because it's out of your sight. I do have a question for this video and the question is, what does crypto media, so crypto YouTube, crypto Twitter, whatever, really recommend and show you and what are your favorite and biggest the biggest youtubers actually teaching you about crypto let that sink in and let me know down in the comments and i think it is time to learn the right stuff and acknowledge the power proof of work has and with bitcoin i think cadena will rise to the top with a 70 percent token allocation for miners and a mining plan that is ongoing for 120 years Cardena was built upon Satoshi's vision of a decentralized, secure and scalable network for worldwide adoption. It is also known as a green blockchain. As more transactions come in, Cardena has the opportunity to scale and add more chains to the network. With that, they can reduce the energy per transaction and have the same energy consumption with more transactions, which makes it greener throughout scaling. Cardena security level also rises as more chains are being added to the network, as more chains can be attacked. And this is thanks to Chainweb and braiding the chains together. Now, the real potential of Cardena mining is starting as you watch the video. Bitmain released the KA3 miner, which actually sold out in, I think, 43 seconds. And the KA3 miner is four times more efficient than the leader before. So this is a big step into Cardena mining. Uh, just don't forget the Cadena mining plan is ongoing for 120 years. This means we can build stuff that will be going on for decades and generations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to connect real life things with proof of work and let proof of work shine. And I would love to get the Cadena and the Bitcoin community connected together because we are all here for the same reason. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.